G'day, welcome to Leasing Tips 101. Michael Krogan, MMJ Commercial Leasing, technically a director, but you know, just one of the workers here. Been in this game for nearly 20 years, property experience nearly 30 years, may not look it, but that's the case. I'm Nathan Clift. I've been in the industry on and off for 10, 15 years. I've been on both sides of the equation as a business owner and now working in commercial leasing. So Michael, why are we doing this? Pretty much we see mistakes being made on a daily basis. So really this is to try and short circuit, summarise, give you some of this, the feedback of things that we see to stop you from making simple mistakes. Yeah, we see these mistakes daily from uh, tenants that are looking for space with just not enough time. They're just uh, not prepared enough for what they may or may not find. So they're, they're just not thinking ahead. So the things they really need to think about, right, that we'll discuss today. First of all, time frames. Um, really understanding that this is quite a potentially a long-winded process okay that's one two we'll talk about you really knowing your business and understanding your business when you come and talk to us we're here to help you but if you don't guide us in terms of what are the things about your business that you really need versus want and the needs versus wants debate Absolutely. Right? telling us what are deal breaker issues giving us some insight into your business because the more seriously the more we know the more we can help you out. You may not find everything you want. Potentially, it's gonna to be tough to, to, to find uh, 200 square meters, three offices, and 20 car parking spaces. The other thing, obviously, is dollars, right? Everyone says, starts with, you know, as cheap as possible. We fully understand that. We're not here to put a gun to your head to go to the most expensive premises, but we need to understand your realistic budget. That's it in a nutshell. Let's start talking about each one individually. All right, so all about timing, so really, why is that uh, an issue? From my point of view, just of late, I don't know how you felt it, Nathan, but I've dealt with two, three tenants in absolute uh, urgent need of premises. Um, great from a leasing agent's point of view, because you know you're dealing with someone who's ready to go, um, but seriously, and, and we were lucky to get good results for these guys, but man, coming to us with a month to go on their current lease, they've been given notice to go, it is a, a potential whole world of pain so it's very risky for the business too. Oh, like I mean, you're, you're running a business for years, everything's invested in, and all of a sudden you get notice, you're out in a month, uh, you know, the whole thing could go down the tubes in terms of continuity. So there's not a lot of awareness from some people about what they're up against in from a leasing point of view. They, they kind of presume that it's just all going to happen. Absolutely. Uh, I think that um, a lot of tenants obviously assume they can, within a couple of months, they pick up the phone and go, oh, I've got a couple of months to go on our lease and, and we're going to look for new premises. And their requirements are something they should be looking at least at 12 months out. From at least business. 6 to 12. Depends Absolutely. on the business. But, you know, sometimes... Not intentionally, but tenants have a slightly arrogant view that the landlord's always going to keep them, um, that things don't change, and you know, these, you know, when they get a month's notice, it comes out of left field and they're completely in disarray. Now, um, we do see it, so we're not saying that happens in every, in every instance, but you've got to be clued up to these things. So what I see where, where business people can go astray is that they're not thinking about the property situation, okay? So they should be acutely aware when the lease expires, have they got an option or not? If they haven't got an option, particularly, they should be thinking worst case scenario in the first instance so these issues don't happen, right? So what did you mention, six to 12 months? Uh, yeah, look, for, for, if you've got specialist requirements or, um, you know, uh, DAs that need to be lodged, um, you, you really need that time to even investigate whether you need to expand, contract, um, all, all your requirements, you need to really, and then be flexible with them. Like you may not get everything you want, you know, it's... Yeah, I agree. Like everyone kind of thinks that, okay, they've got a, th a, three, o a three office, um, you know, office suite as in, yep. um, you know, like three different rooms, a boardroom, um, you know, an open plan area and magically that exists here, there, and everywhere. And they've 20 got, parking spaces. Yeah, there. it's like, you know what, they don't. Um, occasionally you get them, maybe one in five, but four out of five, you might have to start from scratch. So people just don't factor in the realities of the world. Um, so six to 12 months, let's let's look at the timing of this whole thing. So they come, start coming to us, okay? Um, first and foremost, you need to know what operationally you require for your business. Have a think about it. how many staff, do you need storage? Um, do you need profile? 
uh, all these things, uh, you've got to determine what's absolute essential for your business versus a nice to have. Because I'm sure at some point you're going to have to trade off on on what's our essential because the perfect world sometimes does not exist. Absolutely. Um, Even the costs of doing so, you know, like it, it's there's fit out, there's all things that may or may not be in the premises you're looking at. The, yep. uh, the, you need to put IT infrastructure in place. There's there's so many variables for each so person individually. Let's look at timing and cumulative. So they come to us, they know exactly what they're after. It's always a good start when you're talking to an agent. If you don't know what you're after, your priorities, whoever you're talking to is gonna be down on the list. Let's just, you know what you're after, you come to us. From that point, you shortlist on the premises that you think could be a chance, and then you start negotiating. From starting inspections to actually negotiating a property that you're happy with, best case scenario, you're probably allowing a month. Yeah, absolutely, at least a, a few weeks right. to, to find something. Yeah. So you agree terms, you sign a heads of agreement, which is non-binding, but you sign a, uh, um, uh, terms. Yep. From that point forward, we instruct solicitors. Only after the rent deposit paid, but we instruct solicitors. As soon as solicitors get involved, there's an art to it, but basically that can go uh, a little bit pear-shaped. Um, it depends on the solicitor, but- Allow yes. four weeks. Yeah, four weeks is probably minimum, minimum situation. Yeah, minimum. Yeah, Sometimes they go to three months, four months, six months, and you're pulling your hair out, but those things can happen. It's really dependent on you, the tenant, to be really corralling your solicitor into the key legal issues, not reinventing the commercial terms point of view that you've already negotiated. So allowing them a month for negotiation, best case a month, maybe two for legals, there's three months alone. Then we're talking about Potential for a DA. Potential DA or not. Three months at least. That's out of our control. Council, yep. it's an unknown. Um, the other one is if you've got any works to do, fit out the whole works. Builders are under the pump at the moment and they've got plenty to choose from. Um, you might struggle to get anyone there in terms of doing the work that you're after. Depending on those works, one month to three. Absolutely. We, we've got a case of a, a car wash from car yard to car wash. Seems like a simple change of use yep. and some simple works. Yep. Six, one, six months before they're trading. Yep, so five. straight there, if you add them all up, you're talking five to six months. Easy. Okay, that's a very easy scenario. It can easily blow out past that depending on what you're after and how unique it is. So in summary, in summary, what your take from today is know your requirements, your needs versus your wants. What are the deal breaker issues? What can you trade off, right? You really need to know that. Know your budget, realistic, realistic budget, Everyone wants to save as much money as possible, fully understand that, but you really need to have a grasp of what you can afford. Um, but the main thing from today is allow sufficient timing. It is a far slower process than what you realize if this is your first time round, or even if it's your second time round. Six to 12 months. Yeah, at least six to 12. That, and that's for an average tenant. If you've got anything that's unique or difficult to find, you need to allow, allow more. So. I hope that helps. That's pretty much it for today, and we look forward to further episodes of Leasing Tips. See you soon. Ciao.